This is an explicit podcast where we try to keep the conversations as raw and authentic as possible with no intentions of hurting anyone. So if you're very woke, religious, or sensitive, we highly recommend you do not tune in. Yourself, do you listen to any podcasts? Got a few podcasts. Uh, Local one, is it? Local lah. They talk about... With artists one, artist yeah. celebrity. Yeah, mana? Itu uh, Emilia. Yeah, yeah. Sembang ah. Studio, right? Ah, Sembang Studio. Yeah. Actually, Maybe one day we can we, we can go there with her also yeah. and chit chat with her. Can can actually this uh Emilia I think she started. Not long ago, right? Uh, one year, maybe, or a couple of months. Less, uh, less. I think less a year. Yeah. And but very good growth, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know which other podcast that I, I can tell you, la, I mm-hmm. think it's going to be mm-hmm. number one soon. Yeah. La. Uh, KJ's podcast. Oh, yeah. Keluar, yeah. keluar sekejap. Keluar sekejap. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, right now, already, I saw, I think they, the video came out one day, already 30,000 views. Wow, crazy. Big eh? views, bro. Because yeah. of the KJ, yeah. KJ, okay, first of all, you hit a wide range of audience, right? Um, KJ himself is he can speak very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good talker. Yeah, yeah. Handsome. Yeah. yeah. Very likable character. Mm-hmm. They also champo uh, you know, English Malay sometimes. Uh, but I, I really like that one uh. Yeah. You already start rolling already. Uh. No yeah. problem. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get a podcast. This is episode forty nine. We are with. Atli yeah. Hafiz, Golden Boy, coming off a win just recently. It's over the weekend. Uh. Yeah, weekend, last week. Saturday. Uh, Sunday. Saturday. Fighting in KBX promotions yeah. in Singapore. Managed to get the TKO win, t- round t- three, t- by body shots. Body shots. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, um, before we get into the episode, do me a little favor. People who have been watching this podcast, you know, maybe you watch one episode, you watch two episodes. It would be awesome if you could show some support, you know, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, um, suggestions, who you want to see me get on the podcast, just what you think about the episode in general, and yeah, enjoy the episode, guys. So, Ali, how do you feel, uh, your most recent win? Uh, I feel good, but this win, uh, I think, it's quite special, mm. especially... After Raya, you know, yeah, not yeah. not really after Raya. Uh. Six six days of Raya. This yeah. is um, the interesting part, uh. So, how long was your training camp? After my first fight for this year, two thousand twenty three, on yeah. January. Yes. After finish fight, then I I I continue my training. Okay, so never stop. Uh. Never stop. Yeah. But the I mean like the the program is quite mm. like low. Sometimes go high, sometimes low. Of course. So after we reaching until. Uh, April April mm. match so my body feel in a good condition mm. because of uh, good preparation with yep. the coach until the day that uh, I fight my opponent yep. so the condition the preparation is good uh. so it's like three months preparation three months mm-hmm. okay for people that don't know so in, yeah. in January you took a loss right just last year September eh? I thought it was uh, January uh, September 2022 oh, so you had a I come back uh, my first fight for this year, which is January. Yeah, you managed to get the win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so before that, um, you took a loss in September. Yes. Uh, was it by decision or uh, by points or by a knockout? Actually, it's by technical knockout. Referee mm. stopped the fight because of uh, my eyes that time uh, mm. ble- bleeding. It's a doctor so, stoppage. Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah, doctor stoppage because the blood non-stop mm. come out. Yeah. Uh, so, under the eyebrow, right? Yeah. So like. The opponent win by technical knockout. Referee so, have uh, to stop. Just for people who don't know, like if you get cut in boxing yeah. or uh, MMA, right? Cut especially below the eyebrow mm-hmm. uh, or above the eyebrow, above the eye, uh, it's very dangerous. Correct. If you get cut maybe on the cheeks, it's okay because mm-hmm. um, just bleed a bit. It, yeah. It's a fight, bro. He's going to get hurt. Yeah. <laughs> so you get cut above the eye. The problem is, you know, when you get sweat going into Correct. your eyes, it's Correct. already... Very, quite bad. Correct. But Distract. when you get blood going into your eyes, yes, yes, uh, it's really the rope, bro. Yes, cannot, yes. Really cannot tough. see. Um, so that's what they call a doctor stoppage. Uh. Yeah, 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 doctor stop because that time my eyes swollen and also the blood come out. I can open my eyes, fight, fight. Only use one eyes. Yeah, yeah. So two times, uh, two times doctor stop. Second time doctor say mm. I cannot, I cannot continue the fight. Okay. So it almost two round, almost almost finish. Two- yeah, but by that time, me and opponent, the point is draw for all. Yeah, yeah. So eight round fight, is it? Ten. Ten round time, fight, so, Yeah, Ooh. it's very like frustrating that time. <laughs> so I have to move on and I have to be strong that time, Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
bro, let's go back to the let's let's just start from the beginning, lah. Okay, how many years have you been boxing, bro? Uh, until today, I've been train and compete in boxing already nineteen years, bro. One nine. <laughs> You're thirty four this year. Yes, thirty four. Uh, nineteen years. So you were fifteen, ah. Yes, fifteen years. Fifteen years. Old. Old I start boxing. Uh, why boxing? There's plenty of other sports you, soccer badminton you know <laughs> out of all the sports is this something that you grew up around you know maybe family yeah. uh, why do you choose boxing because that time um, the competition between students to compete in the like popular sports in school is very high now football I was I was uh, I, I used to play football so I'm an ah. ex uh, school my school footballer okay, but okay. that time football is my like Number one, uh, sport number one sports lah. Sport but of. yeah, but then I realized that there's a one unique spot in my school now, yeah. which is boxing. Yeah. So my friend, uh, sorry, told um, me. Sorry, yeah. was it a sports school or just a? What no, it's a it's a, a club. You know, club in school they have like additional ah, boxing club. club. Yeah, yeah, boxing yeah. club in school. Not not common at all in. Uh, yeah, in maybe Malaysia. In, maybe other countries are a bit more common. But in Malaysia, mana ada? Dah tak ada. Yeah, really don't have. Yeah, uh, yeah. So. That's when you first got your start boxing. Uh, maybe they had a coach, uh, to coach you guys. Did you follow the sport before that? No, only Zero. Uh, only I was observe on uh, in television, uh, watching yeah, watching highlight. That time popular uh, like Mike Tyson, yeah, Nasim Mike Tyson. I mean, right? So uh-huh. I like whoa, 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 very nice, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By that time, nineteen ninety eight. Uh, wow, nineteen ninety eight. Our com- our. Like hero support Biki that time uh. won the Commonwealth Games. I watched the live final and then I said, I want to be like him. Now. Sorry, tell me about um him. Uh, who who is this guy? Support Biki is a uh, the only Malaysian amateur boxer who win yes. the gold medal for Commonwealth Games. That time, nineteen ninety eight in Kuala Lumpur. That time, if I'm not mistaken, I'm uh, nine years old. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> young and kid. Yeah, he's yes. he's great. Very big history in his own yeah, country. Yeah, yeah. Only Malaysian to ever win. A Commonwealth gold yeah. medal, only until now okay. there is no like boxer can win the medal. Did you have, did you take part in uh, Commonwealth Games or manage to? Qualify? I do have the offers uh, after two thousand seventeen, which is a uh, fight in Commonwealth Games in Gold Coast that time. Uh-uh. But then I pulled out from the squad because of you know maybe family matters because yeah, of work. Okay. So I pulled out and then I turned pro on two thousand eighteen from that. Okay. Um. This one just to even myself, I'm not too sure because so mostly usually boxers they will have a couple of amateur fights. Uh, sometimes people even have 20, 30 amateur fights and then they turn pro. So how do you actually turn pro or when does that happen? It was in 2018, which is that time uh, I already won the silver medal for SEA Games from Malaysia. Yeah. I already set my plan which is mm. I want to create my name and path in boxing after SEA Games in KL that time yeah. and then God bless my journey uh. I won the silver medal uh. after that I uh, decided to turn professional uh. because that time there's only one or two professional boxers in Malaysia yes. that time uh, it's like Farhan and also Aiman that time that time hey bro uh <laughs> jangan lupa Miraj kan Miraj yes ah. also my brother Miraj right yeah, jangan lupa uh, if Miraj. he's watching like, I, so I saw Miraj yesterday yeah yeah I also I also met him met him yesterday him. yeah yeah I I borrow his boxing shoes you know? wait yesterday uh? yeah last night last night uh, and then Bro. I met him and he saw so people, for people that I don't know uh, uh, mm-hmm. Miraj is I for me at least uh, I think he's probably the the best boxer mm. in his weight class in Malaysia he hasn't boxed in uh, about four years, uh, is, yeah, um, four, five years, including COVID, which was about two year mm. a period where it's very hard to have any fights. Um, but secret secret news, uh, he has not said anything, but he will be fighting again in yeah. November. Yeah, yeah, that's good, what he good. told me. So uh, good, good. Yeah, um, can't wait to see his comeback. Uh. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, he's a real, real beast. Uh, real savage. <laughs> uh. Yes. Uh, you managed to. Uh, oh really? <laughs> huh? You have? Oh me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How was it? Times. Go? Very good. He he have reach, he's strong. Yeah, but I have to like uh properly plan with him. I have yeah. to be clever, intelligent. Yeah. To I mean like avoid yeah. avoid the uh, the I mean like his strategy. 
for his weight class, yeah. which is... Uh, he's like heavy cruiser now. Yeah, light, light heavy. He fights about uh, 80... Yeah. 79. 79.5. 79.5 kgs is very hard for him to yeah, make cut. the weight. Yeah. Uh, right now, he's 98 kgs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, la, I saw him. He's very yeah. big now, big yeah. size. <laughs> so... For his weight class, uh, um, is quite a, a big weight class. Uh, he has very good movement. Movement, yeah. Yeah, compared to this, I guess in the heavier weight class, mm-hmm. you know, they might be a bit slower. Slow, uh. Yeah. Anyways, going back to, so you were telling me that you turn, you decided to turn pro after the uh, Sea Games, games, games yeah, yeah. in two thousand seventeen. Yeah. How is the process like actually to to turn pro? Like, do you have to have a certain amount of fights mm-hmm. or? So that time, um, they're looking for my amateur record, so. So which is uh, the time the promoter from Thailand mm. offered me to fight in Thailand. I, I two three times re- uh, refused to fight because that time Why, uh? I want to focus my amateur. Mm. So after I decided to turn pro, I told the promoter, "Okay, promoter, uh, this time I'm ready. Mm. Okay, let's let's uh, do this show." Okay. So I fly to Bangkok that time, mm. April two thousand eighteen. Mm. So I begin my journey there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bro. So, of course. From amateur record, yeah. and then you move on to professional. You mm-hmm. start again zero 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 zero. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from uh, the record, what mm-hmm. else is the difference? Uh, if you're taking a pro fight, get they will pay you. Basically, right? yeah. In terms of payment, sponsorship, mm. one thing lah. Mm. Another thing is the challenge for the for the. I mean, like uh, sport itself. Mm. I have to train for eight ten round. Mm. I have to like fight in different style I cannot like fight like amateur very fast paced one pop, 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 until three round yeah, right yeah. so I have to change the style I have to find my own coach mm. and also I have to find my own sponsor yeah, to yeah. helping me to um, support my um, to fund career yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes 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 but Your it's not easy bro it's not easy I will tell you later on mm. it's not easy when you say that I want to become a professional boxer I, I say like Okay, you can yeah. you can become a professional boxer, but in yeah. which way, in which path, and which, yeah. like, who want to sanction you, who want to recognize you? Yeah, it's something like that. But yeah. it's not easy, bro. It's not like you say, "I want to become pro tomorrow." You can fight, no, <laughs> bro. Not only that, even if you are the really really good, you're dominating all your fights. Yeah. You will hit a wall, right? When you start to think about, I'm not getting the most sponsors. Mm-hmm. I'm not very well known. That's why props to you. You did a great job. You know, you promote, you. you really promote thank your profile, you know, get your name out there. Thank you, thank you. Brother. I'm sure there are people that will also question you and say like, oh, maybe he focused so much on uh, just promoting, you yeah. know, and not so much on boxing. Mm-hmm. But I think it's very essential because <laughs> who's going to cover uh, yeah. the funds? You yeah, know, correct. training yeah. camp, oh, it's not free, you know, you have to pay coaches, coaches and all. Yes, yes, yes. Basically, it's like that. Uh, bro, um, so I... Checked out a very controversial. No, I don't know whether this is controversial. So I want to. I want to confirm with you. Yeah, sure. This fight had one point seven million views, right? You know which one I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. The Sea Games 2017 finals in boxing. <laughs> yeah. You fought a Filipino guy. Yeah. yeah Marvin yeah. Tupas. Yeah, Marvin. Yeah. I looked at the comments. No one managed to point this out. But at the start of the bell, mm-hmm. okay, it was a very short fight. Um, yeah. Utley lost in 17 seconds. Mm. But when, when the fight started, you walked towards the opponent. Mm-hmm. Were you trying to touch gloves? Mm-hmm. Were you? Yes. So, but So he sucker punched you? Uh? Yes. That, a lot of people didn't... You know, I look at the comments. There are so many comments. It's all congratulations, Marvin. Congratulations. Yeah, yes. No one said... No one said... <laughs> Marvin, he was playing dirty. Yes. Is it considered... <laughs> actually, is it considered dirty? Uh? Bro, uh, you are the only person who know what really happened you know why because you are not you are, first of all you are in the sea games yes right okay you are in the sea games you think that it will be such a big difference in skill gap you know that you can lose so fast <laughs> people who might think like that oh i see some comments say that oh marvin have has outclassed you right <laughs> um he, he's just a way better boxer a lot of them don't know anything about boxing if marvin was you right and you were the one that landed. He landed five times clean, okay? Boom, boom, boom. Five times clean. Maybe Marvin would have lost as well in 17 <laughs> seconds if he was you, you know? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. It was uh, six years back until now. Yeah. It's like a nightmare for me. Nightmare. 
uh, uh. one year I couldn't sleep well after the fight mm. I'm like anxiety you know yeah yeah I feel bad whole Malaysia I'm, I think I'm not watching the video until now are you serious yes yes I'm not watching the video yeah, but because I I, I I realized that yeah there's not many people know the real thing happened did you ex- try to explain or no bro what for bro you're trying to explain the people but at yeah. the end of the day they couldn't understand what is boxing and what he doing that time okay first thing is Fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah first thing is yeah um we are the host okay mm, yeah until i reach the final and he said if he not hit me like that mm. if he play with me until third round mm. he will lost come on man wait he said that to you yes he said to the media i said come on this is sport man sportmanship yeah. man yeah yeah if you good yeah. if you gentleman yeah. you fight me clean until third round then we decided who will win yeah yeah that the thing happened so it's hard <laughs> it's hard to say that it's dirty because it's actually not against the rules <laughs> but this is something like it's okay. like um sportsmanship ah. yeah you, it's all you, about sportsmanship is is whether you want to play dirty or mm-hmm. you don't want to play dirty and he did and bro it was very tragic oh. yeah yeah tragic very tragic that time but I stick with mm. God said mm. if Adli if in your journey you lose yeah. like that what I can do I rely on God but God always give me good thing after that until now mm. yeah, he yeah. want to give actually he want to give me very good thing until now I lost to Tupas mm it's very like nightmare for me yeah. for a year and I cannot I couldn't sleep well but then I come back man Ooh. I come back yeah man I come back it's not easy I, I want to hear okay maybe you can tell me <laughs> a bit more in detail because yeah. uh, for people that don't know right one year off from a, a, <laughs> yeah, like a tragic defeat right, is mm-hmm. very it, it's quite uh, detrimental to a boxer's <laughs> career you know especially when you're in your peak when did you start training again? I lost August 2017 I yes. start January 2018 so it's about yep. a few months lah. Yeah. But then I not I not watch the video until now, <laughs> because I always say to myself, yeah. don't bother. Don't bother. People we never know, your hard work. You know yeah. until I reach that that bro, level, brother. A lot of respect to you, lah, bro. Thank you, thank uh, really, you. Really, no, really. Uh, I, 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 and I, <clears throat> I really needed to ask you this question because I didn't see anyone talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you? Uh, but until now, have you ever? even said something about it in, on no, your social no, media. No, Never, uh, bro. Never. But I tell you what, uh, bro. Um, I'm going to do a clip about this. Yeah. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, no yeah I will do a clip about this and I want people to know uh, what actually happened. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it was... Was that the, the fight itself that gained... Like for you, you would say you gained the most exposure during that fight? Bro, I yeah. tell you, bro. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> that time I watched my wife delivered my first baby a few days after. Bro, yeah. I sacrificed my time. Yeah. I left my wife and family for four months. I stay in Kazakhstan yeah. for preparation. Where did the fight uh, take place? Sorry, uh, in KL. KL. My tech that time. Yeah. So you yeah. you left. Uh, your wife was still <coughs> back in Johor. Yeah, my wife in Johor watching me. Yeah, yeah. And oh, you, yeah. yes, that time I tell you sacrifice mm. until um, I said I don't want to involve in boxing anymore. That time yeah. I was like uh, very sad after the fight. I'm not talking with anybody. My coach holding my face. He holding my face, yeah. eye to eyes. He told me, Adli, never give up. Never give up. You huh? should. You can better do do the best yeah. after this. People yeah. don't don't understand <laughs> how how tough it is to, to uh, be a fighter. You know. Yeah, but we have we need to move on. Keep smiling and yeah. stay humble, and we must uh like focus that. Persevere. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Move forward. <laughs> yeah. Uh, God will give you good thing. Yeah. Mm. Through through a hard time, um, <laughs> a rainbow will appear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> so it's okay. how long after the um Asian games are? Uh, then you actually, t- uh, sorry, the Sea Games are. Uh, mm. Then you took your first fight. After, I mean, a fight after that. After a few months, I recover and then I I pro start, fight right. Yeah, yeah. I started that 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 time. I turned pro, uh. and I went to prove to people, which is. Yes. <sighs> Ooh. I am I'm not like what they see. Yeah. I prove to them until now. Bro, it's horrible, man. <laughs> bro, no, no, I'm just thinking about it like bro, yeah. It really shows that bro, in life we yes. cannot become a judgmental. You cannot judge people when you say like, Oh, this one these people is very bad. 
Not all the time is bad, man. They don't know anything, though. Yes, yeah. They, do, they really don't <laughs> know anything. Why, that's why I told you, I, I never, I don't bother with this thing. I just, this you're right. Part, this is a part of my journey of my life. Okay, I accept. Then I recover. <laughs> and especially in today's age, uh, um, yeah. I, I always end up talking about this, but today's age, there you're going to be exposed to all the comments and all the bad thoughts. Previously, right, okay, people, it's normal. You know, people will always have their judgment about you, mm. but you cannot see it because they don't comment. You yeah. know, you cannot see their, their opinions. Today's age, you you can see... Uh, yeah. yeah, in today's age, you can see all of it. So it's like a, a different time, you know, and uh, for for you, you you choose to just avoid all of it. Uh. Just ignore. Yeah. Because it really doesn't matter. No, bro. Actually, that's <coughs> athlete life, bro. Sometimes goes up, sometimes goes down. When yeah. it goes up, people praise you. People say, oh, very good. Oh, Tanya, congratulations. Uh. Very good. You make us proud. But one time, when you go down, yeah. wow, many people bash you, man. Yeah. The same people like, that say Tanya. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Really? It yeah. Means, like, means like you never like contribute to country. So what for, man? We fight for our country. Yeah. We sacrifice our time and family. Yeah. But only what only we need is appreciation. Yeah. But <laughs> there's this saying also in, in fighting, uh, which is quite harsh, is um, you're only as good as your last fight. Yeah, thanks. Right? thanks which is, uh, now you're thankful, uh, you're coming off a loss, yeah. uh, a win, sorry. Um, if you come off a loss, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, bro, if you come off a loss, I will still have you here on today. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I'm someone who understands the sport. Um, yeah. I'm a big fan. Thank you, thank you, brother. <coughs> I said already, if that time I lost, I retired. Because oh yeah, I yeah, said to myself, I, I said I to myself, I said to the reporter, reporter, if I lost this time, I will retire. The reporter keep asking why, why are you doing this? Yes, man. Until at this stage, still like no have like support. Yeah. Okay. To I mean like to push me forward. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I will help my younger generation. Yes. To providing, uh, the career path, the yeah, platform. Yeah. So see, eh. I'm fighting <coughs> in other country. At the same time, I'm giving chance to the to any local fighter mm. to want to fight in the we uh, in a foreign country. Yeah, see, you're giving a, a pathway. Yes. To to how do I say uh, um, g- uh, gain more exposure to the yeah, sport. Yeah. I see Capri Capri's also. He's yeah, I support. He's um he's also a boxing fan. Yeah, uh, a fight fan. Um. I'm not sure how big of a fan, but he's talked about he he wants he wants to be involved in growing the the sport of boxing. I'm uh, sorry, bro. Uh, we rewind a bit. I I need to ask more in detail. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so <laughs> please, please. Your last fight, mm-hmm. you told reporters and the media all that it's a do or die. This is it right now. Your back's against the wall. Yeah. If you lose, you will retire. If you win, the journey continues. Yes. Honestly, uh, let me ask you, uh, you went into the fight. How confident were you? Bro, it's 55-45, exactly. man. People don't understand, you know, like, you can be so confident, <laughs> but you, no matter how confident, you know the reality, right? That you're confident, <laughs> one punch, bro. One punch and, and it's, you know, your how many years of training or whatever, yeah. your plan suddenly switch, you know? Do you feel like you putting out the statement of mm-hmm. if you lose, you will retire. If you win, you will continue. Do you think it definitely added more pressure to yourself? Actually, uh. it pressure me. So why do you do that? Because I I have no choice, bro. It's no also choice. what you really wanted. You you really thought that if you took another loss, it's over. Yes, because I see that um, there's no ways for me to find support. Yeah, I'm fighting uh, in this. Uh, I mean, like professional boxing. Yeah, not only for myself. I'm fighting for my family, for my younger generation. Yes, bro. Bro, I tell you, if that time I lose, mm. there's no platform for our boxer anymore. Yeah, bro. It's just only fight for fun. What for, man? You fight for fun for show. You yeah, must, bro. you must, you must to fight for your country, for your career. Yeah. Yeah. Then. Yeah. You got a family, bro. Yeah, I'm pressure, pressure, brother. Then, <laughs> by that yeah. time, I always keep myself positive. I look at my family pictures, calling them, ask for prayers, and also ask support for from our Malaysian. Yeah, yeah. So thank God. Yeah. God giving me extra strength to fight and he said no you should move on 
mm. you should continue your journey yeah. because you have one responsibility which is you need to help your younger generation yes. who else want to help the boxer because yeah. i have plenty more of over question who yeah. asking me bro how to become a professional boxer how to become a boxer how to be like you yeah, yeah. you see if i retire at that time yeah what should i answer the question man yeah like say oh there's no future don't do it <laughs> right bro yeah bro is what i'm trying to tell you is bro you you know you know already the direction is there yeah. so if i have time to meet yeah. yb minister of sports yb yeah, yeah. please i'm doing this thing for our flag for our generation Okay, if there is no platform for our generation, where else they want to go? Just only fight for fun, fight only for one hundred fifty ringgit, right? <laughs> fight only for pain. Just yeah, yeah. they also fighting for their life. Yeah. What I'm trying to show that I'm fighting yeah. for life. Not only bo- boxing, yeah, combat right. sports in general. I think, especially in the last ten years, is grown a whole lot. Correct. So much bigger nowadays. Mm. I I like to give this example. Uh, um, I think you would definitely agree with me, but um, <laughs> let's say okay. I like to give an example why I think fighting is an a really easy sport for people to to like to have an interest in. Okay, for example, if you have a friend, yeah, right. Maybe you're not even close to this friend. You just mm-hmm. know this person, acquaintance. Mm-hmm. That person is going to fight a random stranger, no idea. <laughs> the fight starts in ten minutes. You are in front of the TV, mm-hmm. ten ringgit, and then you press, and then you press pay. You can yeah. watch the fight, right? <laughs> a three rounds fight in the ring, MMA, mixed martial arts. How many percent of people will pay ten ringgit to watch the fight? That's why I feel that it's a sport that it's easy to to grow an interest in. Uh, you have football, who is which is bola sepak, the yeah. most popular sport in the whole world. Yeah, correct. That's because it's very easy to understand, correct. right? You kick the ball into the net one team wins. <laughs> I think what's even easier to understand is when someone is in the ring fighting or maybe in the octagon fighting yeah. with the opponent, um, I, I guess the argument would be sometimes uh, maybe especially for girls it might be a bit too hard. Yeah, it's a <laughs> to bit think. too brutal, you know, <laughs> for them. Uh, but yeah, I, I just seeing in general, um, let, let's say the UFC, it, yeah. it's grown huge, huge in the last 10, 20 years. Mm-hmm. Um, a big shout out to Conor McGregor yeah. during the 2014 uh, yeah. around 15, 15 era yeah. he burst into the scene and um, I, you could say he's uh, grown the exposure of uh, just mixed martial arts by t- tenfold you know ever since his rise um, let, let me ask you so who were your uh, boxing inspirations? many, many <laughs> but right now Not of right course now, of course many Pacquiao yeah, from 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 zero to hero. Yeah, yeah. Muhammad Ali. Yes. Confidence level. Yes. Nasim Hamid. Confidence. Yes. Everything started from Ali, though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hamid. Uh, Connor. Yes. It's all from uh, Ali. Yes. Yeah. Um. Even great. No matter how great of a boxer you are today, you mm-hmm. know, maybe your record is better than Ali. Yeah. Um. They a lot of people they the the boxers today in their prime they will not dare to, uh claim that they are better than Ali. Correct. Because of just what he's brought to the sport mm-hmm. in terms of uh, growth exposure. Correct. Um, what about in... Uh, you're also a big MMA fan, are you? Yeah, I used to fight MMA before. Yeah, yeah. My first fight, you know, uh, I'm fighting who? I'm fighting Aguila and Tani. <laughs> <laughs> you ask Aguila and Aguila, you know. Wait, so it's an amateur fight? Or? Uh, it's, a, it's an amateur fight. At that time, I just uh, registered for the kickboxing. Hey, bro, you were young, man, that time. 2014. Yeah, yeah. 2013. Fuck, you were really in your young yeah. uh, young days. Uh. Mm. So, <laughs> how... Uh, I sweet I, memories, uh, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Aguilan, was he... Um, he already had more fights than you. Uh. No, that time he also debuted. Was he he, fight, he fighting me kickboxing in Johor that time. 2017. Uh-huh. Ultimate beatdown. Yeah, I, I will show you the picture. But, but bro, Aguilan was already in 1FC when... Yeah, he, now. But no, that time he start his debut before he's become a, 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 a MMA fighter yeah, yeah. fighting kickboxing yeah. and the opponent fighting him is me <laughs> so who won now? Aguilan lah Aguilan win la. by uh, kick and uh, takedown I'm a hey, boxer takedown? 
Yeah, sometimes clinch like oh, clinching, oh, uh, clinching. Uh, take down, they call it sweep, sweep, uh, sir. Yeah, sweep, yeah. yeah uh, I'm a boxer, bro. I don't know uh, what else, who else uh, did. So let me ask you, la, why yeah. uh, Why do you take the kickboxing fight? Oh, that time, uh, I'm seeing that, oh, there's no more boxing for me. I don't want to involve in boxing anymore. I'm frustrated yeah. at that time. La. Yeah, yeah. But I realized that my instinct, you know, instinct, instinct as, as a fighter, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said like, oh, cannot, cannot sit down uh, very well. Yeah, yeah. I need to fight. Then yeah, I yeah. enter the fight. But after that, one two years, I, I fight. Uh, in the cage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I inv- I registered and involved in Mima. Yeah, yeah. Mima saw, season one, season yeah, yeah. season two, and season three. Peter Davis. Yeah, yeah. That time. During that time. Yeah, <laughs> I'm building my name that time. Yeah, yeah. Away. But after that, yeah, like I said, God say that, Adi, this there's something, you need to. Uh, go back do, to your roots. Yeah, go back to your roots back. Then yeah. I start back boxing on 2015. Yeah. Until now. Uh, you tried uh, MMA, which also yes. involves <laughs> the martial art of grappling, yeah. jiu-jitsu, wrestling. Uh, just a little information for the viewers. Uh, wrestling, mm-hmm. grappling, if you are someone who can box and and kick, right? you want to do grappling and wrestling, yeah. it's like you're starting from zero. <laughs> Again, zero. Yeah, man. Um, in the UFC, right, uh, MMA right now, the fighters that are the most dominant, mm. they have the um, they are specialized in wrestling, yes. grappling, because they've been doing it since young. You mm. know, um, hours and hours every day, thousands of hours <laughs> accumulated, and you want to compete with them. It's similar to like, let's say if uh, a Manny Pacquiao who's been boxing <laughs> his whole life. Since since a kid, you know, um, for you to start at maybe you're you're starting it at twenty two, twenty three, mm-hmm. close to impossible. Uh. Correct. Yeah, bro. So we are um, just now. I was asking you, uh, So what what do you think it takes? Uh? because right now in Malaysia, yeah, um, th- that's been boxing for decades already. People mm-hmm. have been boxing for. I just I just saw somewhere right. Bro, I I just went and Google just now. Yeah. In the nineteen sixties, we had a boxer. Uh, what's his I forgot what's the name Cole Cole mm. do, do you remember Nation, uh, Nation. Yeah 1960s mm. Apparently he was in the The boxing World boxing council Top 10 Really yeah Yeah in <laughs> 1960s bro But then uh, Not so uh, Don't know lah Maybe this information Is not too accurate mm-hmm. back then But yeah 1960s You have a boxer That is top 10 mm-hmm. You know in, in the world is uh, Amazing feat So yeah Boxing has been around for Decades already in yeah, Malaysia, man. right? What What do you think it's lacking uh, to that that uh, in Malaysia? It, yeah, that will bring it yes. to the uh, the next level. You know, more eyeballs on the sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need something, I mean, like different mm. in the sport itself. We need exposure, mm. okay, and then we need someone support to push the sport itself, because me as an athlete, I yeah. couldn't push the sport without support. Yeah, I I have to train. I have to train people. Yeah. Then I need to promote the sport. Cannot yeah. I cannot do two three things in yeah. one time. I I need to ask you, bro. Yeah, you, yeah, I'm sure you, you don't do the editing yourself, do you? No. Right, uh. because it's, it's time consuming, bro. It's yeah. a it's a job for one person. Yes, yes. The filming, so the person who edits is the same guy as correct, correct. That films are uh, you have someone have. to help you. <laughs> yeah. Um. And I see you post a lot of content. Um. You you're quite consistent also. Yeah. yeah and, correct. Thank um. You, that's gonna take a lot of time. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. I have to train and then I have to uh, work <coughs> mm. and then after that train people yeah, yeah. and after that uh, going back you coach handling, as well yeah coach and yeah, handling yeah. my kids yeah. oh. so no time bro to edit yeah. I edit my video during resting time uh. maybe in between 7 to 8pm yeah, yeah. maybe during lunch hour yeah. something like that <laughs> it, it's been a long grind for you bro um, yeah, thank you brother at least at least uh, the next few days tonight actually you're flying off to Korea yeah. uh, enjoy uh. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, have a uh, it's a short event. Uh, yeah, with uh, your 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 sponsors. Yes, USANA. yes, representing Malaysia to yeah, USANA yeah. convention in South Korea. Yeah. What other athletes are there? Malaysian. Oh, athletes? many. Oh, uh, for Malaysian athlete, I'm listening to me and Irfan. Irfan. There is a uh, many world champion and Olympic medalist. Sorry, Irfan is also a boxer. Yeah, no, discuss throw. Malaysia, Sorry? Dis- Malaysia discuss throw. Discuss. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dis- okay. Uh, at the event, we yeah. have like many USANA. Uh, athlete worldwide. This Irfan, um, uh, he's uh, competing in the sea games. Sea games, games, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's he's a medalist. Yes, yeah, yeah. Irfan Sabri is a medalist. Gold medal, Malaysia. Yeah, gold medal. Wow. 
So I'm go I'll be <coughs> like going to Korea with him mm. and meeting other world athlete over there, mm-hmm. Korea, Canada, US, mm. Australia. Yeah. How long you been uh working with Yusana? This year almost like four, four, four years, four years with him, with them. Okay. With Yusana, yeah. they treating you well. Yeah, good. <laughs> my thankful. Like, yeah, very thankful to Yusana because taking care of myself, giving me good, very good supplement. Yeah, yeah. That shows that. Mm, athlete as an athlete we need supplement yeah. but bro let me ask you lah yeah sure so you also prioritize you put a lot of time into uh, marketing yourself as well <laughs> yeah. do you think if you had the record you you have now but let's just say your Instagram followers is only about a thousand or two thousand mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you think Yusana will work with you <laughs> definitely no right <laughs> because nowadays they need exposure they need yeah. follower they need people they need awareness yes So that what I'm trying to show that uh, at my age, yes, uh, how it's like to maintain the performance or even even become better. Mm. There must be something that I took. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, so I show to them. Yeah. Shout I out to Yusana. Yes, <laughs> Yusana or even something like that. So yeah. that it proof it proof. Also, mm. I I admit that mm. my performance even better than before. Yeah. So what are the uh, supplements you're currently <laughs> taking? They give me like. Um, Bio Omega, mm. fish oil, fish vitamin oil. C, and then calcium, and then I took my vitamin as well. Yep, yep. And also protein? the energy, protein. I start to Sponsor take line. natural. I start to take natural ah, okay. protein, protein food intake because I have to take care of my weight, right? Sometimes, uh, uh. but yeah. it's not a big problem for me. But uh. I just maintain the supplement given by Yusana. <laughs> okay, lovely. Yeah, uh, bro, I want to get into more detail about uh, sure. your training camps, yeah, uh, training regime. You know, because I'm sure there's Young boxers, you know, um, that's watching this right now. They yeah, yeah. they want they'll be interested to know um how you prepare for fights. <laughs> um, another big uh, talking point in fighting is weight weight cutting. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's say you have a training camp. What is a uh, ideal? What is a good amount of time to prepare for a fight? Okay, we have like a uh, two program. Uh, as an athlete, we have like general and specific. So normally before three months before the fight, first month will be like general preparation. So general preparation is a very general training. It's like more on developing your strength, conditioning, and also your fitness. Yes. Instead of you doing um, like technical pet works as well. But after moving to the second month, the training will be different colors. Maybe it's more on like specific. I want to focus on speed punches. So mm. you have to do speed training. I want yep, to focus yep. on explosive training, yep. explosive punch. So I have to train more on explosive. Until one month before, I have to maintain the weight. So I um, compile all this uh, program yep. and adding on and uh, we do like one program which mm. is compromise all. Yep. Strength, explosive, cutting weight. That's one month before. So mm-hmm. I, you're saying ideally you would like three months? Uh? Yeah, three months. 12 weeks 12 for, week, yes. for a fight. Yes. You compete mostly at 81 kgs. Mostly, mostly under under 81, under 81. You've competed at 77 or Yeah, so, 77, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um can I ask what do you weigh right now? Weigh means berat sekarang. Oh, okay. Uh. My work, my work, working weight 79, 80. <laughs> okay, so now I'm uh, I'm a bit confused <laughs> because you see right um In MMA, I'm not sure whether I think boxing is quite similar. Mm-hmm. Let's say if mm-hmm. you are fighting at uh, 155 pounds, right? Yeah, yeah. In MMA, the fighters they go as heavy as 180, 185. Yes. You know, this mm-hmm. is when you tell a re- the regular audience yeah. that they cut 30 pounds, oh. you know, to fight. The regular audience, you know, they will go inside one ear, then mm. come out the other ear because they cannot understand. <laughs> But yeah, they. Cut 30 pounds, um, maybe a month or two before the fight, mm-hmm. which is it's just some. I I would say is that's probably the toughest ex- aspect of uh, their sport. Uh. Yeah. So yourself, you don't cut any weight. No. Uh, you are fighting bigger guys. Yes. All the time. Yes. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, um, I don't want to put on weight too much. Because for me, if I put more more weight too much, it will affect my performance during yeah. training. Because I'm a like a result oriented person. Yeah. I want to see the result. What is the benefit for me if I train this? If I train that? Yeah, yeah. So coach said, walking weight only four or five kgs away, just control that. 
Yep. If you want to cut, just cut water weight. Yep. Do you cut water weight? Yes, yes, yes. One week, two weeks before I yeah. cut from two liter, from two liter to one liter to five hundred. About how many kgs? Mm, three. Three kgs. Yeah, right? three kgs yeah. of water. So, but when you you your last fight is at eighty one kgs. Um, the last Saturday seventy six. Oh, 76 kgs? Yeah, yeah, I'm from 81 to 76. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Three. So you cut 3 kgs? Uh? Yes, yes. Last last two weeks, mm. I cut 3 kgs. That's water. about 7 pounds like that? Yes, seven yeah, pounds. Around, around that. How is that on your body? Do you feel um, it's not too not too uh, damaging? It's okay, mm. still okay? Um, actually, that time, uh, fasting man. So yeah. I used to train uh, during fasting. Mm. So it automatically cut the water. So we train morning oh, and yeah, evening. Bro. Yeah, yeah, no water. So just train hard, uh. no water, and then breakfast. Just drink, uh, you know, um, little amount of water, yeah. and then relax, eat fruits, just maintain. Let, oh, let, now I need to <laughs> ask about the the difference uh, in, uh, because you've done training camps yeah. during fasting month, yes. and also when of course when you're not fasting. Yeah. How's does anything change in the schedule? No, bro. Fasting month, I'm fasting and training. 30 days, 30 days fasting. Does anything change in the, in the training? No change. No change. Different. It, it, all no, same. The timing? The timing same morning and evening. Yeah. The different is training without water. <laughs> Bro, that's... Yeah. But how does your body feel? Body feel uh, at first week is quite tough. Lah. Mm. But after that, second, third, fourth week. You can get used okay. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, when you book a pasta, yes. then you just water, water, water and eat some dates. Dates uh. important. Lah. Two, okay. three... Dates and then uh, drink water yeah. and after that rest and eat fruit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just you need to reload the water in your body back. Yeah, so the first week your body is still not used to everything. Yes, yes, yes. And then uh, you feel very weak. Uh, very weak, very weak that time. Ooh. Mentally, physically weak. But that, but after that second week, third and following weeks, it already... Uh, get used like, to it. Yes, like. yes, get used okay. to it. Okay, that's good. Uh, because, sorry, you... Let's just say, for example, uh, yeah. athletes like Khabib, uh, <laughs> right? Okay, he's... And you know, MMA is probably more... Because of grappling, yeah. it's probably more taxing on the body. Yes, correct. Um, and, you know, he's at the highest level already, uh, a world champion. And if he can train during Ramadan, <laughs> you know, um, I guess that also gives you uh, an idea of how, how tough actually humans can be yes, uh, if yes, you push. Yes, bro, yes. <clears throat> it's more a challenge of mental, mental training. Yeah. This uh this last fight um you also trained during Ramadan period. Yes, yes. <laughs> Do you think it affected your performance at all or is not really? Ramadan during Ramadan training, mm. I feel more stronger. I feel like, who oh, I I'm better than this. I run faster than this, because of the maybe of the input consumption in your body, but then after that you training a uh, one one hour before book a pause which is 6 o'clock, right? I managed, yeah, bro. That should be your that. weakest point, yes, right? Yes, yes. No, because the my coach said that um, there's a body, our body will take out glycogen in your body Yep. one hour before Buka Posa. So it's very good time for you to train. That means if Buka Posa is 7, you yep, train yep. five thirty or 6. Yeah. Mm, so that the body conditioning is good. Your body has adjusted to that period. Yes, it, it yes. It knows that it will feed again. Yes, after train some, you directly Buka Posa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like, that's why uh, my body will get used to it. Yeah. Then yeah. after uh, uh after buka pasa, you uh, rest rest for a while. I yeah. cannot eat too much, you know, because it, yeah, I will feel weak and yeah. no quality. Mm. So I eat a bit and then rest and then continue eat a bit mm-hmm. and then rest something like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you um diet at all? <laughs> when we talk about diet, uh. many people's like, oh shit, man, yes. diet. Yeah, I don't want. Yeah, man, but you have to. You know time. Uh, you, you you cannot escape because okay, okay. if you not diet, then you cannot get the point. I mean, like the the you're the, talking about the weight. Or yeah, the weight. The, how you the feel? weight. The weight. Okay. If like me, seventy six point two, even two hundred gram was so hard. You know, if you are not diet, <laughs> bro. I will tell you something crazy, yeah, man. Yeah, you yeah. know Peter Davis, right? Peter, yes. I talked to him on the podcast, right? Uh-huh. This was um probably the. <laughs> The one thing that stood out lah, I still yeah. won't I, I won't forget this. So he was cutting weight, right? Yeah. The process uh, for people that don't know, you sit in the in the bathtub, yeah, in boiling hot water. Boiling, yes, yes. That's not another not way. only boiling boiling hot water. They take the salt salt <laughs> mm-hmm. and they pour some. Mm-hmm. I think epsom salt. They pour inside because epsom the salt, the salt will 
uh, help drain, drain more yes. water out of your body. So you're sweating like mad, okay, inside the, <laughs> the boiling hot bathtub, yeah. all right? And then after that, you will, will, will get out of the bathtub and do pad work, yeah. just slow pad work to get the, the sweat going, going. Yes. He says at the last few moments before uh-uh. his way in, uh-uh. he will spit, he will spit saliva. Oh, okay. so he will spit about two hundred grams of saliva. Oh, <laughs> only two hundred gram, right? Yeah, but bro, have you heard of something like that? Yes, yes, yes. You have. Yes, yeah. I, I, when he told me that, I used I was... to. I used to do that before. <laughs> he spit yeah. saliva. Yeah, 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 and also uh, boiling hot water. But my body, I tell you, very, very weak. Cannot, cannot stood up. Man. Not everyone can. Yes, can... yeah. That's why I changed. I cannot do this, la. When <laughs> was this, bro? Uh, Mima, that time. I cut from 85 to 277. And, and then 85 to 77. By that time... The time oh, bro, I saw a picture of you. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Mima picture. Bro, yeah, very big. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The yeah, time no fighting wonder. heavyweight. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, no wonder I, I saw, tried. like, wow, you're not, <laughs> not lean. Uh. Yeah, yeah, that time. Okay. I tried many things, many ways to cut weight. But at the end of the day, I realized that I have uh. to prepare early. Yeah. So there's a lot of um, I'm always comparing to what I'm most familiar with, yeah. which is uh, UFC. So there's a lot of fighters that cut 20, 30 pounds. Yeah, man. But these days there are some fighters who cut uh, not too much weight, uh, maybe like something like uh, yeah. Adli, three to four kgs, mm. and they're also having a lot of success. Correct. Correct. Uh, Kobe Covington. Correct. Uh, who else? Uh? Uh, uh, Israel Adesanya, the Adesanya. middleweight champion. Yeah. He does not cut any. I think he doesn't cut any weight at all. <laughs> You know, ready, fight. right? The body ready, yeah. which is very good. very good. It's very good. Um, you have a longer career. Yeah, yeah. yeah because you don't. Fighters like to say this. Uh, the big, the biggest fight is actually making the weight. Yeah, man. Right, and then they say it's that tough. the easy <laughs> part is inside the cage. Yes, and then you can use all your tools energy. that you've been sharpening. Yes, yes. As a fighter, of course, we need energy. Yeah. What if you cut weight last minute? But then you don't have ten, you don't have time to recover. Yeah. Which is when during fight. But unf- you don't have energy to fight. Unfortunately, most people do the same thing. <laughs> because knowledge, brother, there is nobody like want to share the tips and knowledge to them. Yeah. By right, they should. Because for me, uh-huh. as a fighter, yeah. we do, we, I don't I don't need to eat too much. I need energy, because my performance based on energy, not not based on yeah. what I eat. Uh, so what if you drain it weight too much and then yeah. you no know energy yeah. you you weak during weigh in but after that no quality yeah. just one round survive two yeah, rounds yeah. survive but then yeah can can I ask uh, what do you think your strengths is my uh, strength as a boxer physically uh, physically uh, uh, your style uh, or anything what's no. your your advantage footwork footwork uh? yeah footwork, yeah I can footwork see save me a lot <laughs> because I'm not a, I'm not a defensive boxer bro. I'm not your counter puncher. Yes, I'm a counter puncher. I can see, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a defensive boxer. I'm a counter puncher. I'm not uh, fight like uh, Mike Tyson or like uh, yeah. something like Mike Tyson defensive. is because he's very short. Yes, also. yes, yes, yeah. defensive. I'm more on like uh, counter punches mm. and also footwork. Defensive is footwork. <laughs> so I can. I'm sure you must be a fan of Conor McGregor's fight style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, he's my actually my <laughs> biggest inspiration. Uh. Yeah, he's like, uh, he's he's in always in character. You know? Yeah, uh, I also res- a lot of people, the casual fans, are uh, they think of Connor as this uh, rich, arrogant mm. uh, bastard. But if <laughs> you, yeah, bro, if you. Yeah, but, but in person, he's good. It's okay. In person, he's doing what he knows he has to do to get the attention, get people yes. interested. But for someone who follows the sport, right, if you actually followed McGregor's journey from uh, when he first started, which is in 2012. Um, it was quite. It was quite magical. Uh, his rise, you know. Um, he was one thing he was very popular for is predicting how he would knock knock out all his opponents and correct, correct. He would come true and yeah. Uh, Two thousand fifteen was uh, when he knocked out Jose Aldo in ten seconds. Yeah, man. Jose Aldo, yeah. Well, that was my first. The first fight I I've ever fight. watched. Correct. <laughs> I I remember when he knocked out Jose Aldo in ten seconds. I. I looked at my friend and said that I'm not watching MMA anymore <laughs> because I don't understand what's going on and yeah. so fast 10 seconds That's and, it, and it's That's over yeah. bro um, okay so you've been doing this for 18, 19 almost, years uh? almost 20 years 19 years already T- tell me uh, how have you um, how has your training changed because I'm sure it's changed a lot you know maybe you your body is not able to push as much as it was back then so you you have to be smarter with training 
Yeah. How how is your regi- re, uh, training uh, regime change? Uh? It depends on the, uh, I mean like, on your requirement of your body, mm. and also depends on the performance. That's why uh, we need to have a test before we start our new program. Mm. So from the test, we can like, like a physical yes, test a physical or? physical test. So mm. from the test that we can measure our yep. performance, what is lacking, what yep. is good. So good, we maintain. If lack, yes. we improve. Yep. So for example, like me, maybe my weakness is explosive. Yep. So we need to train more on explosive for the next program. Mm. So the training program change based on the test. It's not like, oh, oh today, oh, this one I want to focus on strength. Yeah. This one I'll focus on muscle. Oh. No, uh, for athlete, especially wow. fighter, yeah. we didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. There's a systematic of training. Yeah, so yeah. that... You when you train, follow the progress, follow mm. based on the test, mm. so you can see the progress. Bro, it's impressive. Yes. It, it, um, do you think that the um also even in Malaysia mm-hmm. the the standard the nu- nutritional part of your mm-hmm. training all yeah. has also improved a lot? Yeah. Uh, w- what team are you fighting out of? Mm, fighting for myself. You're independent. Yeah, independent, uh-huh. but most Oops. but mostly, uh, behind the the scene. Uh, there's many coach helping me. Yeah. My conditioning coach from ISN yeah. in Sisi Sukanegara. What's nutri- his name? Nutritionist from ISN. My conditioning coach, uh, coach uh, Paul. Paul. Chris. 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 Uh, Chris. Uh, his nickname Pok uh, P-O-K. Pok, uh. And then uh, yeah, Azlan. Malaysian, uh. Yes. And then Azlan yeah. from Johor. Uh-uh. And then I have nutri- nutritionist uh, from ISN. And also Masiu is important. Okay. <laughs> Masiu for recovery. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. There's yeah. many things. There's many things um, yeah. that you need. Yeah. In order for you to maintain and to perform well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can Can I ask um how often do you have to have mas- massages? One yeah. week, two, three times. Yeah. By right, need to massage every after every time after training. Oh, bro, you're actually yeah, man. Now, now I uh, now that you explain all this, uh, bro, you yeah. is very you're actually doing it all very professional. Yeah, bro. yeah, thank you, bro. Um, w- what about ice baths? Yes, man. One uh, week once ice bath, and also once, uh, uh, maybe one go to swimming. Yeah. Uh, for people that don't know, ice baths. Okay, you literally put your bathtub <laughs> filled with ice, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you sit inside there for how long? Uh, maybe three minutes. Three for minutes. Uh. Three minutes for three set, and ten oh, minutes. Few for, sets. Uh. Yeah, three minutes for three set and ten minutes for one set. It depends. It depends uh. on what times, what types of recovery that you want. For me, like I say, coach, I want a quick recovery, mm. but then uh, I need sleep. And then he told me, okay, Adli, we do ten minutes as well. Ten minutes, bro. <laughs> so but sit down. Ten minutes. Don't you feel it's better like one shot? Uh, for me, <laughs> then for, me re- for, me, for me, repetition better lah, because oh. we need energy right after that. You, oh. Instead of uh, you want to sleep oh. after ice bath, there's a there's a like uh, for sleep program, yeah, yeah. which is 10, 20 minutes stay. Okay. Uh, after that, you go back sleep. You guys sure sleep very <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, because Best sleep ice will make you weak and oh. make you feel good and recover. Yeah. And also, I do cupping. Cupping. Yeah, uh, cupping uh, is important also for yeah, me. Yeah. And also spot massage lah. Yeah. Very important. How, how long has you have you been uh, using ice baths? Three years, four years. Three years, four years. Yeah, yeah, because I really need ice bath, especially after fight. Mm-mm. Because it recovers and refreshing my body very yeah. well. Even after training also, you would need to do important, ice baths. Very important, especially for our age, yeah. which is the prawn is it's very easy, you know. Yeah. You can easily get injured, especially when people who want to cut weight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, every day run, every punch, 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 yeah. punch, and run and punch. Yeah. But after injured. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why after training, you need to recover. Bro, even myself, so I only hit hit back, you know. I, I only hit yeah. back maybe t- uh, 10, 15 set uh, every day. Even just hitting the back, yeah. right, I can feel like really so sore, you know, so sore. And I, I imagine that we, we are all humans. Yeah, you man. Know? The difference is these athletes they also focus on the recovery. Correct. So the faster you recover, the more you can train. Or Correct. The more you can push. Correct. Would you say that earlier on in your career you mm-hmm. you're not being very effective because you didn't focus on recovery? It's because of time and you know, and also it because of we didn't I mean like take it serious. Mm. Maybe that time uh, at a younger age, you know, like so um, when recovery, no time, lah, nonsense, lah, recovery. Let's go home lah, after go, training. Just like stretching. Yeah, right. yeah. Even even though stretching, not not stretch too much, you know. Yeah. After three minutes, through three minutes, then go. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know now, last yeah. time, okay, I, so I I did 
bodybuilding six years. Uh, oh, then really? I, yeah, yeah. Then I did uh, striking, mm. right? Bodybuilding six years, then I did striking. So when I was doing the bodybuilding, right? Mm-hmm. Zero stretching, bro. <laughs> no, no interest. I only start stretching when you start to feel pain. Yeah, correct, uh, right. Usually it's too late, uh, you know, then you need to start. <laughs> Nowadays, I... Sp- I can spend 20 30 minutes, you know, just stretching. Stretching, right? Yeah. Yeah. You also? Yeah, I 15 minutes have 15, to yeah. stretch using a foam roll, sometimes yeah. Love using a uh, tennis ball. Yeah, yeah. You just massage, massage, yeah. massage. So that your joint will be Loosen. like ready mm. for Loosen the for, yeah, for the training. Yeah, if yeah. not, easily getting injured because tight. Yeah, yeah. Mm, especially for me who train every day. Mm. So <laughs> at the moment that like, my body feel weak I have to focus another day yeah, and yeah. also following day so like it's very important actually yeah. mm. okay la, so you have hard days and you yeah, have soft yeah. uh, sl- and slow days how, um, how, how often do you have hard days and slow days in training so if let's say uh, one week we have seven days maybe, you train seven days yes yes maybe Monday Monday and and Wednesday is a uh, low days okay. Tuesday and Thursday will be a tough day. Yep. So morning we'll do interval and uh. evening later on do sparring. So maybe Friday we do like long run and ice recovery. Saturday, Sunday, we do uh, active rest. Maybe playing badminton with the uh, kids and, perfect. Also, perfect. and also swimming. Yeah. So that your progression, your system, body will be adapt. And also you can see the result after four weeks, mm. which is, uh, is it good or bad? Okay, if let's say the body perform good, mm. then you maintain the program <laughs> bro there's a lot of um, especially if you're from the older generation uh, they train hard five times five days in a row you yeah, know man. your body feels like shit push push yeah but in today's age uh, people are smarter about it they realize like um, you don't you don't make that much progress uh, if yeah. you're not if you're pushing every day and you don't allow the proper time for your uh, body to recover um, bro tell me about uh, so how often do you spar one week, maybe two, three times. It's like technical sparring yeah. and also sometimes full sparring uh. and also sometimes like... Hard sparring? How often? Hard sparring, maybe two times. A week? Two times, yeah. Two times a week. I will uh, spar with my partner in Singapore Mm-mm. and then I'm going back to JB do some technical sparring. Mm. It's more on like uh, make uh, how to create strategy yeah, and yeah. so ideas. Yep. So we, we don't do like often hard spa yeah, yeah. because we need like ideas yeah, yeah. and also we have to like set strategies to fight mm. the opponent if yep, I say yep. like okay Game plan the, uh. opponent we, the opponent we stand like this mm. what else you need to do mm. uh, instead of instead yeah. of punch punch, punch like that yeah. so the thing is like that nah. yeah. you need uh, to strategy I'm right now also like let's say for for example some of the champions right yeah, they yeah. have a tr- they can go through a whole training camp yeah with no sparring at all <laughs> yeah what do you think about that mm, for me you've heard about that right mm. like let's say Max Holloway I used I used to do that before serious but then after that you at the ring you like nonsense thing you do <laughs> the punch not sharp not uh, accurate not connect yeah. so like nonsense lah nonsense uh-uh. for me as a as a fighter yes. you have to spar. If you spa. if you become a footballer, so you have to f- play uh, matches. Yeah, play matches, man. Yeah. If not play matches, then how? So how you feel the pressure, so the that, exposure. That that's why it's interesting, uh, that we can. Yeah. Have, there's champions yeah. that also never spar. So his um his explanation <laughs> la, is uh. that he's he sparred so often when he was younger throughout <laughs> his career. He sparred a okay. whole lot Understand. until um. At this point in his career, he feels like he doesn't need to take the damage during training. Mm, um, mm-hmm. Even if they spar, it's very slow, slow. Mm. And then only on fight night, he he fights, uh, you mm-hmm. know. Um, but not all fighters is like that. Not not all. They different fighters have their different perception, especially for themselves. Yeah. That's why we need coach. Yes. Coach will identify. Coach will give you program for you. Mm. Even though my coach also not let me to spar. Um, every week every day I mean he said Adli you focus more on your stand on your movement yep. we do more pad works <coughs> something like that it depends on the coach yeah. but if you're saying that you never spar and just go to the ring for me it's a risk yeah, okay. <laughs> we cannot manage the risk mm. if we no spar yep. alright something like that what's your okay lah what's your current record right now my pro is 12 Alhamdulillah yeah good desk amateur uh, amateur is more than 1900 
You had more than 100 yeah. amateur fights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not recorded, right? Like uh, In a book. In a book. In a book. Because yeah. when I check online, they don't have proper no. record. Uh, oh, I didn't know you had more than 100. Yeah, yeah, bro. Uh, they like the they, they include you in the record, which is yeah. the tournament, which is organized under them. Yeah. I mean, like sanctioned under them. Yeah, yeah. If th- we fight in the local, then how to record it, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, that's why we have... Uh, we do have the book. Bro, more than 100? Okay. Yeah, yeah. My, my amateur book already. Four, five book already. So I started f- uh, from 15, bro. So you started training when you're 15. Mm-hmm. Wh- wh- how long after you started training, you had your first fight? Um, Six months. And then my coach, Gamblis, um, like, register my name. Say, Adli, you go. We have tournament. Like, uh, remaja kebangsaan that time yeah, lah. Yeah. <laughs> you fight lah. Eh, okay. Bro, you- 15 years old. I already fought four times, bro. Bro, okay. <laughs> <laughs> bro, okay, bring me. You still, you still remember your first ever fight? Yes, yes. Yeah, can you tell me about it? Your first oh, ever I, amateur fight. <laughs> that time very funny, you know. Of course. <laughs> that time I was fifteen years old. Yeah. Uh, one day before fight, my PMR result come out. Uh. <laughs> so I, I like uh, nervous, yeah. nervous for the fight and uh. nervous for the result. Yeah. But then I enter to the in, Wait. In, uh. I enter inside the ring. My opponent is very big. That time mm. I fought 75, but my mm. weight is 69. Oh shit. Oh, you sp- yeah, still have a mature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then, then my, my opponent is like, rush up, yeah, rush, yeah. rush. Boom, boom, boom. But then after he rush, rush, I give him one punch. Mm. One punch. Uh, but that's a funny thing bro, I want to share with you. Yeah, what's up? I'm a softball boxer. Yeah. But that time I train with my friend. I yeah. see that all my friends stand orthodox. I, yes. I look at right, left side. Oh, stand at that. Okay, stand. You know, I fight. Uh, oh, you fought you fought yeah, orthodox. I fought orthodox. Fight. Yeah. Uh, almost four fight. I fought orthodox, but then uh, I realized that my my right hand also good. I give him rear. I give the opponent yeah. uh rear hook, but then the blood the blood comes up. It's like blood splash out. Yeah, yeah. So I'm seeing that something happened to me, which is I cannot see blood, bro. If I see blood, I want to kill him that time. I like whack whack oh, whack. Really? Yeah, until referee stop, and then referee stop. They raise my hand. I said, oh man. There's a, I'll be like, there's you didn't realize moment. you have that yes, inside yes, you. Yes, 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 yes. So that after that, uh, the next fight I lose, but lose in final. And then I said to coach, coach, uh, actually, uh, my writing hand uh, is left, not right. And then my my coach. Oh, you're left handed? Uh? Yeah, I'm left handed. You my coach, left. Okay, bowling okay. left. And then my coach, <laughs> uh, my coach called me, hey, man. Why? Why didn't you tell me yeah, you yeah. are you are soft paw man? Uh, because I see that all my friends stand yeah, at least. Yeah. <laughs> so but I follow my friend. That means your left hook is strong, uh, Right, my right. No, no, I mean when you're in orthodox, your yeah, left hook is strong. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, okay. so funny thing lah. Uh, okay, bro. That is also one thing I want to touch on. So yeah. you said that the moment, <coughs> Sorry. the moment you, you hurt your opponent. Yeah. And your opponent's beating you. You kind it kind of triggers something yeah, inside trigger, you, yes, yes. and then you you kind of you they call it you see red, yeah, 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 yeah. You just go crazy, yes, yes. I I noticed something also because everyone is very different, you know. There are some fighters are uh, even though you are at the highest level, right? Some fighters they are they are they call it more like athletes, yeah, yeah. Which is they are good at uh the training re- regime. They are, they they are good at competing competition. Yeah, correct. But when it comes to fighting, maybe they don't enjoy the the fight itself of hurting the other opponent yeah. you know and s- some people they they're just it's just a natural thing to them so yeah Adli let me ask you like, do you do you get into fights as a kid like before boxing street fight yeah ah. street fight no la. no I was a kid who good always, boy ah. no I was a kid who always get bullied in school that's why I wanted to ask them <laughs> everyday my senior like bully me pushing me kicking yeah. me Bo- so that I'm not happy that time. I yeah. I don't want to go to school. Yeah. But I realized something that. How old were you, bro? Fourteen. Oh, now. No. That not time. Now. <laughs> that yeah, time yeah. was get bullied. Thirteen, fourteen years old, get bullied from the senior, from four, from five, right? Yeah. So I realized that, I, from five, fourteen years old, kid mm. can think about life. Yeah, of course. I said to myself, I want to change my life. Yeah. I want to get respect in the school. Until until when that I always get bullied from the yeah, seniors. Yeah. So that's why, bro, I changed my life. I stepped, moved to boxing. the boxing yeah. uh, gym, and I said to myself, I want to become a boxer. I want to protect myself. Okay. Yeah, got yeah. winning until now, lah. <laughs> and, and bro, I'm, I'm not only choose the sport, la. <laughs> and, and bro, you're not the only one. You know, a lot of the uh, a lot of people in combat sports uh, or martial arts, they have a very similar experience when they're young. Uh, they got bullied. So, bro, let me ask. Let me um ask you, like, You know, 
you know the reason don't you think that the reason why when you were in the fight yeah, yeah. and then you you said you saw red and you went crazy and attacked yeah, the, and hit the keep hitting the yeah. guy don't you think that is because of all the years of when you get bullied then you have to suppress suppress that, that's right. also affecting me also that also affecting me one thing is you know i've done this i've sacrificed a lot i'm seeing that there's no there's like not easy man i'm facing this and then when the opportunity comes which is the opponent's like oh cannot do i said to myself finish now finish, finish him now just yeah. finish i said to myself just finish him don't kill him i said yeah. to myself so, like i really finish the fight bah, 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 yeah, bah, bah, bah. and then when the bleed come out of course your focus uh, gone you cannot focus the fight at. you're thinking about the blood and yeah, also yeah. movement so by the time you're thinking about blood one punch landed already <laughs> so that I just said finish him bah, bah, bah. I wait, wait, wait until but bro some people when they see the blood then they get scared <laughs> you know, I, it depends la. it depends, it depends on the person yeah man when I, sp- I spar I, uh-huh. my opponent the nose blood yeah. I, I feel like I feel like I don't like to punch him yeah. you know? and then when you can feel your knuckles yeah. against his the, the skull right mm. it's kind of I I felt like I felt bad you know yeah like, yeah yeah sometimes because like, he's also your friend and yeah do you think that you've learned to control that now yes my coach always always uh, teach me Adli inside the ring let it settle in the ring outside we are friends of course yes so I always set myself mm. inside the ring when you throw harder I repeat I, I reply back harder yeah if you throw light I reply back right yeah. it depends on the situation bro yeah yeah yeah, yeah. What if he throw he hit me until bruise until bleeds yeah. come out? Then I I'm not hitting him back. Yeah. So it means like you lose, man. Yeah, you lose. You yeah. have you have to be firm, you know, in the ring. You have to have like you have to set your own standard. Yeah. Hey, how come I the boys are easily hitting you? Blood come yeah. out, bruise, and then you cannot hit him back. Something like that. I trained myself. Yeah. But I control yet again. I control mm. because of like you know it's just a training, man. End of the day learning process yeah. so when your bruise come out when your eyes swollen it's a learning process yeah yeah to become a good fighter yeah <laughs> bro you you've been to Alex gym right yeah yeah Alex yeah. is my coach my favorite coach man really yeah man. bro coach Alex my so I've uh, I was in uh, uh, Melbourne for a few years mm-hmm. I did I was at the MMA gym there oh really so I would do uh, sparring uh, mm-hmm. like kickboxing sparring yeah. with the people there yeah, yeah. I they it was very slow, you know. And then when I came to Malaysia, this was in twenty twenty. I went to Alex Gym yeah, at Spa. Alex, yeah. The sparring there is very different than <laughs> other places, right? Yeah, man. You understand what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, man. They they just go hard. Yeah, man. They go hard, and you know everyone is watching. There's a timer. Yeah. And then uh, also the the change <laughs> change. There's is Malaysia is much hotter yeah, compared man. to Melbourne. I felt. I, I was exhausted, bro. Yeah, easily I, exhausted, right? Easily exhausted. I, I couldn't I couldn't believe, you know, like how intense it is compared to, you know, I was spar- sparring with white people all, you know, they they were big size and all. It's, it's okay because everyone was going light, correct, you know, correct. I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's the different. That's the different. The intensity. The different, the competitive athlete and also for the leisure athlete. Yeah. You come for what? For leisure, for just... Have fun. You know, have fun, must get, only get sweat. You just, we do like TikTok sparring, just yeah. tap, tap sparring, yes. Yeah. But if the people come for competition, yeah. come for like improving themselves, they yeah. will throw harder. They because will they're learning. Hard. Yes, yes, yeah. man, yes, man, you should, you should, you should, you you should, should have really. experienced that one. Yeah. Because how can you, uh, how can you get your timing if you are going slow, yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> Bro, let's, um, eh, uh, go back to, uh, yeah, sure, okay. younger, the younger days, mm-hmm, right? Yeah. Do you have any ambitions before boxing? Yeah, man. I want to become a, of course, good person. I want uh, to make my parents proud. Yep. But that time, unfortunately, I'm not born to become a good student. <laughs> my, you are a bad I'm student. I'm not just average student. La. Average. Uh. Just get two A's, one A's, and uh, it's cool. Okay. La. Uh. But I see that my friends taking the award in mm-hmm. front of their parents. The parents yeah, yeah. so proud, take photo and blah, blah, blah. I see that uh, I couldn't give this thing for my parents. Yeah. But, it's okay, I've proved them. But one day, they will they will sure proud of me. They'll be yeah. Yeah, that's why I always work yeah. harder. Always stay positive. Yeah. Always said to myself, I said, why I'm doing this? Yes. I'm doing this for my parents yes. because I always said to my mother, mother, you yeah. are my biggest fan. Yep. She's waiting. Uh, she's sending me to the boxing gym, mm-hmm. waiting until raining, until fall asleep inside the car, waiting for me. Almost cry, man. But then mother said, I did this for you. I sacrificed for you. 
So I tell my mother, mother, this award, this championship is all for you, man. Eh? Yeah, that's, that's beautiful, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful, bro. Uh, yeah. bro, I I will quote. Uh, this is a quote from uh, Conor McGregor. Yeah. If you are grateful for everything that you have, yes, you will be successful in everything that you do. Correct. If correct. you are truly grateful. Correct, man. Yeah. It's true. It's true. It's really what it's, you see right now in front of you is grateful, man. Yeah. yeah. But, but what people see, uh, people who don't know the sport, they see something different. Right? They think that, uh, especially people who don't understand the sport, they think that you know you are someone who just enjoys beating beating people. You know, or you are like a bar- barbaric kind of sport. It's more of like a, a a chess match. You know, when you're inside the ring, it's technical. Yes. Of course, there's grittiness and toughness. That's yes. that's very important as well. Correct. But ultimately, it's a sport uh, of competition. Yeah. So, what what top what sort of, of ambitions do you have when you're young? Maybe you wanted to be a doctor, or <laughs> was it any of that? The first choice mm. during school. Yes. Normally, we at school teacher give us the form of simple form, right? Yeah. Why you you choose three three options. <laughs> yeah. You, bro, I, I tell you what's mine now. Uh, I I can what's tell that? you very standard one. Bro. What's that? Uh, Police, army, teacher. <laughs> Normally like uh, that. <laughs> no, no. Mine. I I think doctor, police. Uh, it's just all bullshit because you are you are a kid, bro. Yeah. You don't know anything. You're a kid. Yeah. 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 So y- you. Bro, I put sportman, bro. Sportsman. Ahli huh? sukan yeah. in Malay word. Yeah. But then police bomber and one thing lah. Uh, but sportsman, bro. Yeah. Because I involved in sport Yeah. Uh, during uh, preschool already. Oh, Six years old, okay. seven years old, I go running. And then I represent my school. Tracks, track uh. Track and field. Uh. Representing school, bro. Yeah, Nine yeah. years old, bro. Yeah, bro. So you've been... <laughs> You, you've been uh, Going up like this Already in sports Yeah, yeah Since yeah. yeah, since 9 years old So that I can see that Oh My future is good In sports yeah. So What what else to do man yeah. If study Cannot study Then mm-hmm. focus on sports lah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, But also uh, you Nowadays people already know this uh, You don't need to have uh, A certificate A degree From yeah, a university yeah. To be a successful person in life um, w- Would you Would you want your children to be uh, involved heavily involved in sports and what are the benefits do you think you see from them picking up sports at a young age okay some uh, it will be it will be like this um, as a parent we need to su- have support first thing is support and bless lah. Mm. but then if you support them then the journey will become easy because for me, at first, my father, mother don't want, don't allow me to become a boxer. Bro, which parent? Will, yeah, man. Right. I bring in the gold medal at home, put on the table, waiting Woo! for my, put, uh, waiting for my father uh, wake up. Uh. Not a word said congratulation from my father. Wait, how old were you, bro? That time, fifteen. So I'm frustrated. You no, know, that time I'm saying that, uh, I'm saying yeah. that. Um, yeah, bro, you. Are yeah, man. But yeah, then no. he watched me see games. He watched me become the first fan. First, first person in front. Watch me see game. Two thousand seventeen. Yeah, yeah. I said, "Oi, the guy who like disliked me to fighting, yeah, to yeah. fight in boxing, but then stood in front of you." No, <laughs> I, I know, I know. Um, uh. Bro, it's like, it's like what you said before. When you are winning, everyone is by your correct, side. Correct, correct. When you're when you're uh, losing, you know, people forget. And oh, I, not to say. I mean, the truth is, your parents also. It's also a person, a human, and people respect. When they when you can prove to them yeah, yeah. that you can do it, people respect that. Correct. Thank you. Yeah. So, when was the turning point, lah? Do you think that your your dad, uh, uh, really accepted you pursuing this? After two thousand fourteen, after I, uh, working uh, as a customs officer, mm. my career life is good. But then I continue f- uh, my journey boxing. in boxing. Then I realized that okay, my father actually want me to become a successful person first. Yep. He want me to have a degree. So once I get the I I I have the degree. What degree I, do you have? I tourism. Tourism. Yeah. Yes. And then I told my father, mother, uh, I said, um, Mama, yeah, I want to focus my career. Mm. I already give this to you, mm. <laughs> so they want to focus my career as a boxer, but they support. Yeah. Uh, as a yeah. father, mother, right? Yeah. So yeah, we were uh, just now we were talking about um yeah why uh why would you, uh, encourage your children to pick up sports. Because for me, um, it's a good future. Mm. It's a good future. You can become a teacher. Yep. You can become a coach. You can become a speaker, a trainer. Yep. And also, for me, sports changing me from like a person who don't want to talk with people 
to become a uh, confidence person. Introvert lah. Yeah, introvert. And then and now you are yeah, become confidence mm. and giving them inspiration. It like slowly, uh, like changing me. You know, it does, bro. That's an important thing in yeah. sports. That's why I all I will always encourage give them. confidence. Yes, any sport you want to play, just play because yeah. it will build up your own identity attitude. I I mean this is something my dad said to me lah. Yeah. In everything that you do, mm-hmm. do your best, because it will um it will teach you how to accept failure, yes. how to uh, gain confidence. Oh, that one is hard, bro. Accept failure is the hardest thing yeah. in life. Yeah, man. <laughs> Your toughest loss is definitely uh, yeah. 2017. Accept no? failure that time. That time, the word yeah. accept failure in my head. <laughs> Adli, accept failure. There's no like, that is risky for you yeah, to yeah, win. Yeah. Okay, la, fine. La. But you have to accept. La. You yeah. fail that, like that thing, like yeah, that, yeah. that situation. Yeah. But, uh, another quote from Conor McGregor. Yeah, man. You win or you learn. Yes. So there's no losing. No losing. Losing is learning for me. Yes. yes. Why you lose? Because... There's a process yeah. and you have to trust the process. If you want to become a champion mm. but you cannot accept lose, mm. you are not the one to become a champion. There's, you also see, right, there's a lot of champions that yeah. they are undefeated all the way. Then but some one time lose, right? Yeah. Then they're picking up back, yeah. right? You see? Once they lose and then it's like, because they are not familiar with losing. Yeah. So, their next fight after that also lose, lose, and they keep losing. You know that, that's why people say that when you have an amateur career, right, fight as much as you can. It doesn't matter if you lose. Yeah, correct. Because it's all lessons. Once you go professional, then the loss is a bit more yes, important. Yes, correct, you know? correct. Um, yeah, in 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 boxing, it's it's actually different than MMA. You boxing, you lose a few times, people will write you off. <laughs> no lah, it's like. It's not good lah for your record. Yeah. Yeah. People will will saying that ah this guy yeah. not not consistent lah. Yeah. Lose already many time right. So, but but bro, you you know Nate Diaz right? Yeah yeah yeah. Nate, Nate Diaz. Diaz lose so many times bro. Yeah man. But his people still love him. Yeah. yeah. So it's a bit Depen- different lah. Yeah. In, depends, uh, uh, in the sport. Yeah. Okay. Um. Bro, you were you were. Getting bullied last time. Um, <laughs> talk, talk Crazy, about man. That, lah, bro. Boy talk school. I I study in a boy school. Yeah. So you know, that time maybe my face people don't like. They say, "Hey, come here." Were you tall when you? Yeah, were yeah. Young? That I'm tall. That time I just last. My height is one seventy. Yeah. Oh, you were seventy two. Okay, yeah. Then always get bullied by senior, and I say, "Until when, man?" Yeah. This <laughs> is the senior bully me, until when? So I started to change myself. Yeah. Let's start boxing. As um first thing is I want to protect myself, mm. and after that for fitness, but I don't know my if my coach said, hey bro, come here join, you have bright future man in this sport. Uh. I that time I was like, ah nonsense like coach I just come for, for yeah. like. Why do you think your coach said that? I've reached that time. I'm tall. I tall taller than my friends. Ah uh, okay. okay. Uh, they, and your athlete also. Yeah, yeah yeah and then coach said, you have, like. Uh, Good attributes. Good, good attributes, yeah. Mm. Prospect also in this sport. Why don't you try? Scared, bro. First time at first fight. Of course, fighting, bro. man. Scared. Yeah. But I realized that, okay, after after I hit my opponent, my opponent... Uh, scared of you? Hit, yeah, scared. Then I start to whack him. Mm. I'm seeing that I have some like special instinct, which is killer yeah. instinct. The killer instinct. <laughs> I yeah, I've instinct. seen um I've seen myself also because when you see sparring mm. uh, videos right and then I'm the type where they hit me I'm okay yeah I I I I, I still won't hit them hard and then but mm. until they hit me a few times very hard yeah and then you can see it's funny man you see your <laughs> eyes your eyes change you know yeah correct like your eyes just focus in and then you just go crazy correct it, correct. it happens man <laughs> uh, but uh, with experience you learn to control it right? yeah, yeah correct right bro so your your bullies back then. What happened eventually? How did they stop bullying you? When that time I won the medal in boxing, in school. Uh? Yeah, yeah. But then, like I, I said, like like I said, uh, school got club right, yeah. and then got teachers. Teachers promoting me at school. They said during assembly, you know, many people from form one to form five. Uh. I, at that time, form three. Uh. Okay, there's like a boxing tournament in Johor. People yeah. like, Ooh, Ooh. who's the winner? Yes. But then I go up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My friend Woo-hoo. like, my friend like, shocked, you know. Huh? How come? Because yeah. I love to do things uh, without noticing, notice people, you know. Without telling people. Yeah, telling people. Yes. So that, Until you prove it. Yes, yes. I, 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 I uh, walk 
uh, on the stage, yeah. people's like, oh, after I walk down, life change. <laughs> yeah, life change like in school. Uh. Walk down, uh. immediately life change. Uh. It's like they they more like respect and there's like don't nobody want to uh, like make jokes uh, like. You know, don't nobody like, don't yeah. want to touch the, you. The girls, huh? Yeah, no, no I boys school. Oh, boys school. Yeah, man. <laughs> if, yeah. it's, if it's co-ed, it's different, uh. The uh, girls all give you attention much yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> you you mentioned how you didn't want to let people know. You don't like to talk about it yeah. until you can prove it. Yeah, uh. yeah, correct. Uh, bro, something really, <sighs> I I can relate in a way where so for me it was bodybuilding that helped me yeah. grow confidence. I uh, didn't dare to talk to girls also yeah, when I was correct. young. Uh, just so so shy and then do bodybuilding I was always tall you know mm-hmm, um, yeah. 13, 14 years old I'm this height already oh really yeah I stopped growing at 13, 14 oh. so I was always tall but skinny uh. uh-huh, uh-huh. so still very shy and bodybuilding it helped me yeah. gain confidence Correct. you know one thing I did right bro I when I was I started in 16, 17 mm-hmm. I would work out I would hide when I work out mm-hmm. like in the room alone sometimes in the toilet I just work out I don't let my brothers or my family or my friends all know don't let anyone know yeah, that I work yeah, out yeah. until they are the one that say like oh your chest bigger like uh-huh, that. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, it's funny uh, like you <laughs> you just don't actually in life bro yeah there is a thing that you don't need to speak out you don't need to speak yeah, out yeah just for me let's talk more action mm. that's what I'm doing now mm. I'm, I'm not like t- telling that I'm going to fight this thing I'm going to prepare the, for this for it no yeah just focus training and just prove them the result. Yeah. Because not many people, bro, end of the day, like us. There's a there's a like group of haters. Yeah. You know, like want to see you down. Yeah. You they lose. want to. Yes. Because it makes them feel yes. better about yes. themselves. That's happened, la. But yeah. in life, yeah. teaching me that. Bro, I, I, I tell you the. Yeah. Uh, from from just the Sea Games experience, yeah, uh, what you tell me about how you didn't bother <laughs> mentioning it, right? That show speaks a lot about yourself already as yeah, a person. Um, yeah, bro. I I just prove, Trump, I just prove them wrong. Yeah, bro. I prove them that you see, if like, uh, I entertain them, their comments, yeah. they will affect myself and also performance. I cannot training yeah, well. Yeah. But right now, the result proof will prove. Yeah. Thank God lah. <laughs> if you want to reply to them also, yeah, you're wasting energy. <laughs> right, wasting right. energy. Uh, because end of the day, they they will never know. Okay. They will never know how hard we face, right? They will never know, bro. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, bro. So, what is next? Uh? Okay, uh, yeah. currently, I do have plenty of offers, actually. Mm. Fighting outside Malaysia. Mm. Oh, course. you mean like fights or... Like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have like a promoter from Dubai also mm. contacting me. Serious? Like, waiting, waiting for the response. So the he's, money is... Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> telling, he's telling that he wants to promoting me to a big organization yeah, also. bro. Uh, at least lah bro oh, I said to myself yeah. At least lah bro eh, I want to fight once lah uh. Winning or losing This year you mean It's part of the game yeah. uh, Maybe uh, Maybe this year or next year uh. Winning or losing Is just part of game But it's time to Create history mm. To additional I mean like re- Write additional More on my storybooks yeah. Go for it bro Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. At least lah bro I want this, to this fight career, one time This career is not forever Go for <laughs> it bro Yeah man But right now I need support man Yeah, I need support Uh the from our Malaysian also because mm. your support is my motivation mm. I don't want us money for supporting me no I can find but mm. I need support bro sharing my journey and yeah. like giving our generation as inspiration yeah, yeah. about boxing so that I just in my character yep. to do my job <laughs> yeah yep, yep. you do you and um the the peop the people who support you it will also help out yeah man yeah with, with the, yeah. the whole journey okay um Ali so um, advice to fifteen year old <laughs> advice to fifteen year old Ali eh? yes <laughs> okay man first thing is why you want to do this uh. why now one more thing is why is it benefit for you you sacrifice for what man for what? The number three is if you cannot fight for yourself. I mean like if you cannot challenge yourself, mm. what else you can do in life, man? Even though yourself you cannot challenge, you mm. cannot fight. So what for man you want to fight other people? You're calling up other people. Yeah. That's the thing. I always mention I always quote in my life. End of the day I said you help yourself. Yeah. There's nobody will help you yep. to become better or bad 
person mm. only you design yeah. it no one can help you yes man <laughs> no one help you it's just yourself mm. yeah all right that's beautiful bro yeah <laughs> yeah um okay i think we've covered most of it already bro yeah thanks thanks Okay, that was advice to 15-year-old Adli. Advice yeah. to young boxers in Malaysia. Okay, to all young boxers in Malaysia, my advice is keep on going, keep on training, keep on focus on your dreams because we don't know what happened next. You just focus and rely on God. Pray, bro. Training and pray and ask God, God, if this way showing me that I'll become a good person, continue, bro. Mm. Just stay positive, stay humble. Don't bother for any bad comment or haters because end of the day the haters will become your true supporter yes then one more thing is please 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 guys please don't stop pray please be good be kind in front of your family your parents ask bless from your parents yes. and also bro what i want to tell you is to become a fighter is not easy boxing is life man if you cannot fight for your life so how you want to become a boxer yeah so that's for me yeah. Well said, well said. <laughs> Guys, support Adli all the way. He needs all the support. Thank you. He's fighting for his life, for his yeah. family. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, bro, uh, fun, uh, fun one. Uh. This one is a fun yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, great. Come. So, what do you do? Uh, what's your hobbies uh, outside of boxing? <laughs> I play golf, play tennis, bro. You play golf? I cycling. Uh? <laughs> yeah, man, I swimming. You play cycling. everything, uh, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, bro, why I'm doing that. But but is are you very competitive when you do all those? I'm a or? person who like love to challenge myself, you know. I don't know how to hit the ball, man. The ball is small. Yeah, how yeah. to hit four times into, I mean, like going to the hole yeah, yeah, yeah. until you get par four, par three, hard, right? Bro. So, yeah. yeah, man. So, I challenge myself, Adli. You challenge yourself, uh. stand under the sun, hit the ball four times, make sure the ball go into the hole. If uh, not, How many are, hours you stand there, bro? Uh, For nine hole, normally two hours. Uh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. But then next, uh. Adli, challenge yourself, uh, play tennis. Yeah, yeah. I see like, oh, tennis look easy, like just like... Mm. Uh, Ping, bang, ping, like yeah. that, right? But it's not easy, bro. <laughs> it's of very hard. Of course not. Tennis yeah. is, you have to run so much more than yeah, badminton, man. bro. Yeah, yeah, correct. Crazy, man. So I love to challenge myself, do the things that I, uh, I'm, I'm not practicing that before. Yeah, yeah. So that's the funny things, yeah. lah. But do you also tell yourself, like, when you're playing all these sports, yeah. don't push so much because you, you are yeah, correct, recovery. Yeah, correct, right? It's more on transition and recovery, lah. Yeah. You, I just you, hit, I just play golf, just like uh, that. Have for, fun, like, Yeah, transition, releasing stress because yeah. an, as an athlete, we need a time mm. uh, for us to not focus too much yeah. for the sport. I, you guys, you, you need to divert your uh, focus. I think they call it, uh, what, also active recovery. Yeah, active recovery, yes. Yeah. That's it. This week, that's why I don't want to focus boxing. Yeah, boxing, bro. please go back. Bro, by, by that's why when you're asking, I yeah. said, oh man, I'm resting. Yeah, by the way, I... <laughs> I, I, told, I told Maybe I, we can set one time. Lah. Next time, bro. I told Ali, I said, like, um, if you have time, we do some sparring. <laughs> but then I realized that bro just went through three months training yeah. camp, you know, fought in uh, January or so, yeah, fought last week. And then yeah. now I'm asking him to spar. Like, <laughs> I know he wants to also relax, take his mind off things. Uh. Yeah, man, next I, time, bro. Next time. Uh, never, man. No problem. No problem. I, I, will, I would love to share with you, bro. Mm, Very yeah, good. Uh, like, it'll be good, good, great experience. Yeah, uh, man. Next time, uh, bro. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Uh, thank you. Any last words? Um, guys, do support Malaysian boxing scene. I will bring up the boxing scene in Malaysia coming soon. Yes. So stay tuned, guys. When you like want to do, like focus on that spot, you mm. need to like do something different you must be different from the others so that people will know and acknowledge you yep um Adli, guys give it up to Adli hafiz yeah, golden you. boy of malaysia malaysia's very own golden boy boxing thank you really. um bro all the best in your journey um, yeah, so far you. it's already been uh, uh, amazing yeah I will highlight the 2017 SEA Games, uh, yeah. that moment of your life where everyone doubted you. They yeah. did not know what actually really happened behind the <laughs> scenes. Um, so the opponent was a dirty fighter, yeah. but Adli didn't mention a word about it yeah. because he wanted to silence the haters. Yeah. And um, yeah, he, he's done it very well. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, brother. Um, okay, guys, if you watched up to this point, okay, I don't think it would be hard for you to hit the subscribe button because you've just wasted one hour and 13 minutes of your life watching this, right? So if you're not a fan already, I don't know what you're doing. Leave a comment who you want to see in the podcast, uh, suggestions, what else we should talk about or who should bring on. And yeah, see you guys in the next episode. Golden Boy, Adli Afis. Yeah, man.
missing my homies. I'm missing my oldies, my brothers, my crodies. We all went to court, but before only course that we knew were the ones where we were shooting guys selling Kobe. To a legend, rest in peace to the old me. Rest in peace to my brothers, rest in peace to my whole team. The oldest, I'm missing my shawty.